Hello friends, welcome to another video related to Tableau. In this video, we are going to discuss about a new feature that was introduced in Tableau 2020.2 and that is relationships in Tableau. We will also learn how they are different from joins. But before that, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to select a data source so that I can uh, show you an example so now you can see we have these two tables we have already discussed about these tables in the previous videos also so this is a very simple school db data set in which i have two sheets and one sheet is tbl school one sheet is tbl student so you can see we have a school ID 1, 2, and 3, school name, ABC, XYZ, and UVW. And uh, let me remove this from here so that I can bring TBL student here. In TBL student, you can see we have a student ID, student name, and a school ID. So you can uh, simply say that uh, in both the tables that we have here, in both the tables, you can say that school ID is common. So you can see a school ID is here also and here also. So a school ID is common in both the tables and that's why we can join them. So that's what we did in the previous video. We selected TBL school and then we double clicked on it. So we had this frame kind of thing here where we can simply drag other tables and this simply created join between these tables so this is something that we used to do earlier in tableau you can do this right now also if you are familiar with it and again we have discussed it so this is a way of joining two tables you can click on this Venn diagram you can uh, change the relationship with which we have already discussed but if you want to combine data from multiple tables for analysis purpose then you can do it without joins also so relationships are dynamic and flexible way of doing it uh, that means relationships are dynamic and flexible way of joining the data so in joins as we saw uh, we can see a Venn diagram but it is not available in case of relationships while creating relationships, you only have to select the matching fields between various tables or data sources. Uh, there is no need to select the type of join. So now you can select this. We have TBL school. You, you can select this. We have TBL student. And in this case, as you can see, while creating relationships, you only have to select matching fields between various tables. So the matching field between uh, various tables is the school ID field. In TBL school, we have a school ID. In TBL student, also we have a school ID. And now there is no need to select the type of join. So if you have knowledge of SQL, you can easily relate to it. But if you don't know how to join, uh, how joins in SQL work or how to do it. So you can easily understand the concept in Tableau also and you can do it for data analysis. Now we have uh, various advantages here. In this case, as you can see, there is no need to provide what type of join we have to apply. Uh, and also it is, it is understanding things automatically. Now let's go back, to, back once again to the joins part. So in here, TBL school, double click, TBL student join created so now you can see here we have a school id school name student id and so on so in this case you can see we had a table uh, in the data we had a value of a school which has no matching records in the second table and that's why while creating inner join that is not available here also, we have some repetitive columns also, means you can see school ID is repeated two times here. Now, when you will go for analysis of this data, and if you will drag a student ID here, or a school ID here, so you can see only school ID 1 and 2 are available. 
this is because of that type of join that we have here so because of uh, this join we only have these two value so now we can analyze only these two values there is no information about the third value here and it is because of type of join if you will change the type of join and change it to left join then when you will go for analysis now you have these three values so this is also this will also work but let's do it in case of relationships and see what is the different thing there so i will press the control z a couple of more times now we have dbl school here now we don't have to double click it simply drag it here and this will automatically create the relationship we can tell that tbl school is equal uh, tbl school dot school id is equal to tbl student dot school id you can add more fields here also and let's close it because relationship is correct here so now you can see school id 1 1 and 2 2 is available here and uh, in this case you can see that um, tableau has automatically selected the type of relationship and we don't have a fourth column here so we don't have any fourth column here and when you will go to sheets and you will try to analyze it let's select school id here we have all the three values here so you can see this in the relationship or uh, the data that you are seeing here here you don't have any information about the third school id but if you want to analyze a school suppose you, uh, we don't want to analyze uh, only uh, the matching part we also want to see uh, what's there in this particular table so you can see from that table in this column we have all the three values available and in case of joins this third value was not available until we had a left join so you uh, now you can see that uh, you don't have to worry about such things in tableau it will do things automatically for you and that's why uh, relationship uh, works better than joins you can see and if you have something to edit i uh, suppose something is incorrectly matched so you can click on the this particular line and you can edit the relationship as well now suppose you want to count how many students are there in every school so you can take the count from the second table which is generated by tableau you can see this is an automatic generated field that counts the number of records in the real student table so for every student how many values are there so let's drag this and it will create a simple bar graph which says that there are two students in first school two students in second school but no student in third school also uh, what we can do here we have a school name so to the label part we can bring the school name also so that we can see the name of the school also you can do these things and this is one benefit of relationships over joins there is one more interesting thing here uh, in the previous part you can see when we were trying to create join so in that case data was merged but in this case only the relationship has been established and you can see here when you will click on any particular table so you can see the columns in that table also so earlier I stated that we have three columns here and not the four columns, which simply means that uh, in, 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 this, uh, in this relationship, you can visualize the data individually also. There's no join and Tableau automatically uh, kind of considers how to handle the null data. And that's why all the values are available in TBL school also and TBL student also all the values are available and the relationship is also established between two table so you can say we have joined the data but we also have all the available values here so suppose if you want to analyze any one particular table individually also let's say we have a new sheet here 
and we only want to analyze let's say student id here and we want to analyze a student name here and uh, we can again go back or we can do this so you can see for every id we have name here so this type of thing can be done easily using relationships in tableau now in the next part we will try to analyze more data this is a very small uh, sample data the next part we will try to analyze uh, more data with it we will have any particular data set maybe of some sample super store and then take various tables from that data and we will try to create relationship between various tables using this relationships concept in tableau